venison meat. I think about 80% of the meat that we eat is venison. It's um, organic, has free range as it come, no antibiotics, and no hormones. And uh, the fillet that I'm going to eat for you today is an Eland fillet, or uh, for the English speaking people, it's an Eagandi fillet. That's the antelope's name. In any case, let's get right into it. Um, over the last couple of years, I've modified a recipe that works for me and uh, it's been uh, uh, quite a crowd pleaser around the fire and around the table, uh, so to speak. So, in my recipe today, uh, for basics, I'm going to do sour cream as the base of the sauce, with some garlic, booster sauce, lemon, um, sweet sticky barbecue marinade. What we're now going to use is six gun grill marinade, which is also a sweet based uh, marinade. Um, and what did I forget? Garlic and maybe a little bit of chopped onions. I'll see as I go. Usually uh, in the kitchen, I, whatever I see I've got in the cupboard, I'm mixing. So let's see how the recipe turns out today. a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Yeah. Mm. The lemon juice is a great uh, lemon juice can cure meat quite lovely so it's I al always start with a little bit of lemon juice last bit of pips there was one pip in here there you go next thing is some garlic I prefer using um, fresh garlic like this. Some of the stuff that you get in shops that's pre-crushed is, um, is other stuff with garlic flavor in it. So if you can, buy the fresh ones. Because you can see it's garlic. crush it with your blade like this, chop it up, goes in there, one, two, three or four, garlic, what do you call a garlic, I see, one or two, three garlic cloves, depending on how much you like garlic. If you don't like garlic, you can leave it out. But um, I love garlic, so I think I'm going to do like three big cloves of garlic. Like I say, I don't cook with a recipe book. I cook with my um, taste buds my stomach and my head and whatever I've got in the kitchen on that specific day even with some leftovers or whatever you feel like and that's basically how I got to this recipe where well, I took an old favorite recipe I think of my mom or somebody um, and turned it into something that uh, I like all right here we go with the garlic Lemon juice, garlic, roll the meat nice into the lemon juice and the garlic. And then um, some of my favorite grandma's Worcester sauce. This is a new packaging for grandma's Worcester sauce. They usually only come in the big ones, but I'm so glad that they're in a smaller container now. It's a little bit of a more of a thicky, 
thickish Worcester sauce. It's not the thin one that works lovely with the recipe. Two, three, three and a half tablespoons. All right, what next? Um, last night when I prepared this, uh, I've got one here already prepared that stood through the uh, through the night in the in the fridge. I decided when I opened the garlic container, there was a half a onion in it, and I thought it might be a nice thing to add, a little bit taste with the onion. So I'm going to put in and chop a half an onion in there as well. A new addition to my recipe that happened last night. Chop it very fine. It just gives the sauce a little bit of a chunky feeling as well. I said half onion, looks like a quarter of an onion just for some flavor and some extra chunkiness. Okay, this is what we look like at the moment. I don't know if you can see there. Garlic, onions, lemon juice, and some nice Worcester sauce. This was uh, my substitute when we started with yogurt, then buttermilk, and then I once used um, um, cream, and then once we didn't have cream, we had sour cream, and I found this to be my favorite and the best for the recipe. One, you just get one container of 250 ml sour cream, and another one, just do two. it. Rub this around there. And to round it off, uh, I used to use a little bit of um, like a sticky marinade, but it needs to be sweet. That's the, that's the key. And lately, I've been trying this six gun grill barbecue multi-purpose sauce and marinade. And it's a lovely sauce all work with this recipe. It's got a little bit of chutney, sugar, vinegar, um, sunflower seed oil, etc. And it will work perfect, perfect with this recipe. So yeah, I would say at least a half a cup of um, any sweet, sticky marinade that you can get your hands on, preferably this one. All right, that's it. Now what we need to do is mix this properly. So just to recap, start off with the lemon juice, garlic, Worcester sauce, sour cream, and a sweet sticky six gun marinade. Now what you do is you stir it up, shake it up, see that you don't mess too much. So you mix it properly. All right, that's about it. So this goes into the fridge for overnight. You can buy it immediately, but you can also cure it overnight in the fridge or just 
do it two or three hours before you bry. I think it's enough. It is competition time on Bry with Box 6 Gun Grill Style. And as we all know, slops or flip flops, whatever you want to call it, is Belito's national footwear. And um, wear them to meetings anywhere if you want somebody to take you seriously. In any case, said, and you can win this amazing hamper, his and hers hamper, flip flops, slops, aprons, beach towels, beach bag, bright tongs, you name it. All you have to do to win this amazing hamper is go to the Belito TV Facebook page, like it and comment on this post. Tag three of your friends and use the hashtag chill your toes. Brew Belito. that beauty off the fire with venison like any other meat you don't want to overcook it because it can become very dry so I'm going to take it off now I think it's going to be ready but you can always when you do the cut the medallions you can put back onto the fire and just uh, give it a little bit of more heat and if there's somebody that prefer a more medium to well cut or piece of meat you can just uh, according to that then just put them longer onto the fire so Let's hold thumbs and see what it looks like. Oh. That's a beautiful piece of meat. Nice and crispy on the outside. And uh, let's hope it's looking the same on the inside. Or not the same. Beautiful on the inside. <laughs> I suppose that's what I meant. Okay, let's see. Let's cut that piece off. Let's see there. Oh yes, that is beautiful. That is what you want to see. This is perfect, medium pieces of meat. It's just absolutely beautiful. Let's look at this pink meat. Soft, saucy. Juicy, beautiful. Right. Okay, taking the panini, a little bit of this caramelized onions that I did onto the panini. Take a piece of this meat straight onto there. Even add a dash of lemon juice. A little bit more spice. Let's 
take this marinade sauce. It's heated up nicely now. You drizzle that over. I'm even going to put a little bit in the bottom to make it a little bit extra saucy. I love my sauces. And obviously, if you don't like blue cheese, you don't need to do it. Some built on shavings. Some flat leaf parsley. Just to round it off. Box Eland Fillet Bruiki. And there you go. Piece of beauty. I don't know what we're going to call this, but it looks really. I'm drooling as I speak.